So quantum computing is something we're hearing lots about at the moment. Is it an opportunity or a threat? What do we need to know about it? Yeah, so I think when we speak about quantum, there's massive opportunity on multiple fronts. So there's naturally the computing opportunity, which is going to arguably revolutionize parts of what we do. Um, but naturally, there is an element of threat to it as well. And and I think, you know, the, the when and the what and the how will become clearer over time. But that's why we're encouraging organizations to start preparing. So future technologies need appropriate regulation. Do you think we have that yet? I think we have an emerging playbook. You know, we walk a very fine line between overburdening burdening organizations with regulation and setting out what we expect to be reasonable expectations. And, and I think, you know, starting with the code as a practice and then dealing with heavyweight legislation in the end is, is a good line to walk in that. And how can technology standards help us make the UK the safest place to live and work online? Yeah, I think what we recognise is the standards are intrinsic to you know interoperability and encoding into those standards our security expectations from the get-go is ultimately what allows us to avoid incurring vast waves of technical debt, which we then have to retroactively respond to. So Cyber UK in May, how would you persuade someone to join us who's thinking about it right now? I think it's access to the people and the insight, ultimately, that, that it allows. You know, there's obviously individuals from the NCSC, from other large parts of the public and private sector there, and being able to converse with those people on the topics of the day whilst gaining kind of practical takeaways that actually help with cyber resilience. I think it becomes a, a no-brainer, as it were.